So now we're going to get our Raspberry Pi ready to install the Arduino IDE so we can start playing with our Raspberry Arduino. So the first thing you need to do is sudo apt get update just to make sure all the package list is up to date. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, so now the next thing you need to do is sudo apt get upgrade. But this is actually going to upgrade your packages to the latest ones. It's quite likely going to tell me I haven't got any new packages, but we'll see. Yes, so it doesn't need to do that for me. So the next thing we need to do is sudo apt get install Arduino. sudo apt get install Arduino. And this can take quite a while because it does tend it downloads quite a bit as you can see on the screen there it downloads 81.6 megabytes of stuff. So I'm clicking and pressing Y to let it go ahead and now it will start. Okay, so that's done. The next thing we need to do is change to a, the temp directory, so to cd forward slash tmp. And now we're going to type a long command. I've got it already, so I'm just going to cut and paste it. It's wget, and then this long address. It's basically you're downloading a deb file from Gordon Henderson's website here, so we'll just download that. Okay, and now we're going to install it. So sudo dpackage i, which is for install, and then avrdude underscore 5.10 hyphen 4 underscore arm hf dot deb. Now it's installing. This is the modifications for the uh, Atmega328 programming, the fuses, etc. Okay, now we need to give that the right permissions. So sudo chmod4755 usr bin avr dude okay now we need to run the setup script so that's another wget wget http project downloads dot drogon net forward slash gert board forward slash setup dot sh okay good that downloaded nice and easily so now we need to chmod that chmod plus x setup dot sh that makes it executable and then we've got to run that as sudo so sudo dot slash setup dot sh now we will need to reboot the pi so those changes can take effect so let's do that now sudo reboot okay so now i'm back into the pi let's clear the screen so we can see what we're doing now we want to set the fuses on the Mega chip, so you make sure you've got your three programming jumpers in place, and then type AVR setup. Then it asks you to press one for an, a three to eight P, which is what you will have for the Raspberry Arduino, or two for a one six eight. We won't press one, and that's all looking good. That's what you get when it works. Excellent. We haven't quite finished. What we need to do next is go into LXDE and set a couple of settings in the Arduino IDE. So we'll see you there in a moment. So let's just uh, start up LXDE with StarTex. Okay. 
and then what we need to do is go down to this symbol here in the bottom left and choose electronics Arduino and it takes a little while to boot up but don't worry about that after about a minute or so you will see the Arduino IDE on the screen and now we need to configure it so now we've got the Arduino Integrated Development Environment IDE fired up we need to make a couple of tweaks so the first one we need to do is go to tools and board and we need to choose GERT board with that Mega328 and the second tweak we need to do is go to tools then programmer and we need to tell it Raspberry Pi GPIO and then all you have to do is start programming the first thing I uh, usually recommend people try it, is the blink sketch which you can find under examples basics blink and that will bring it up on your screen let's just drag it back into the right place and that shows you the code for the blink sketch it's quite short and sweet it will by default be on pin 13 but you can change that I often put an LED across pin 8 instead but there is already one there on pin 13 which you can use so once you've got the blink sketch how you want it what you can do is file upload using programmer it's important that you use that because if you don't then it may try to use a different programmer other than the one you've set which is Raspberry Pi so if we send that, it will spend a, about a minute the first time because it's dragging in all the libraries. But you can see over here the progress indicator. The moment it's compiling the sketch, once it's done that, it will upload it to the Duino board, assuming you've got all the programming jumpers on correctly. And you will see, as it programs, you'll see the LED flash. and then it says done uploading and after that you should see the the LED will flash approximately once every second that's what it's set for so once a second okay and you're done if you then wanted to change that to say pin 8 you could do that and just upload it again it's always faster the second time because it's already dragged in the libraries so we change that And it's already done. You see, that's much faster the second time. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to cover.